Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, you guys are tuned in to the Crypto Millionaire Podcast. And uh, today's show, we're going to do a little overview of the market, especially what just happened over the last week or so. Um, I'll dive in a little bit about my crypto trip that I just recently took and also what to expect back from the platform going forward gonna try to get some more content out there for you guys uh, hopefully a little bit more daily uh, more consistent with that and then um checking with the crypto platforms that i've been using because uh again if you're not using these platforms or not doing your homework uh shame on you man shame on you that's all i can really say so let's go ahead and dive into this market. Uh, this market's been, it's been lovely. It's been nice. Right now we're at 181 billion dollar market cap, and uh, funny about that. The funny thing about that, I should say, is we were, I would say, around the 150, 140 market cap for a, a bit, and then we had a nice little bull run. To a point where now we're looking at current price of Bitcoin at $5,219. Ethereum is at $178. Ripple is at $0.35. Cents. Uh, Litecoin's at $87. And Litecoin's been, Litecoin's been booming, man. Um, I've been watching Litecoin. Um, I've seen it, what was it? I think around like the $30, $40 mark. And its high was around like 91, dropped down about 4%. But again, man, if I had a lot, I'm talking about a lot, a lot of money, whew, you can make some serious gains, man. Um, EOS is at $5. Again, EOS was, you know, hanging in that range of the $2, $3 range. Now it's at 5 Uh Binance Coins at $18. Again, Binance Coin was what, at nine dollars, probably about give or take almost a month ago. Uh, Stellar's at thirteen cents, and uh, if you guys want to earn some free Stellar, um, if you guys are Coinbase users, you guys can earn some free Stellar by doing these simple lessons, and then you invite people, and then once once those people do those lessons as well, uh, you get forty bucks from that. So again. You could be a new or existing user. Um, just wanted to, you know, put a note out there for you guys that if you want to earn some Stellar, basically 50 bucks worth, um, you can go ahead and do that on Coinbase. But again, Stellar's at 13 cents. Uh, Stellar was, what, six, seven cents range for a while. Uh, Tron's at three cents. Had a nice little, nice little 8% uh, gain there. And again, Tron's been kind of, moving slow um it was it was stuck on the two cents for for a while i would say and then dash is back up over a hundred dollars uh neo's at twelve dollars right now and that was what neo was at six or seven dollars not too long ago ontology's at basically almost at a dollar fifty and ontology was at fifty cents so if people picked up at fifty cents you know Putting a nice chunk of money, <laughs> they're pretty happy right now. Uh, Nim Nim's at seven cents, um, but again, you know the market has been going on the up and the up, and can't say enough good things about it. Especially after being in that uh, what was it that thirty nine four thousand range, uh, we were we were there for for a while, and it dipped to what was it the 36 mark 3600 mark and then from there haven't seen those prices again and um i'm kind of glad that i got in around like the 3000 range because something told me um that we possibly wouldn't see those prices again especially with all the speculation about the you know the crypto spring you know the patterns of the history looking very similar um especially for the run, I think they were saying like back in 2015. Um, so everything was very bullish for the last, I would say, uh, about a month or two. So if you were able to get in around um, that 3,000, I would say what, anywhere from 
yeah, I would say anywhere from like 3,200 all the way up to maybe around like 3,900 range. Um, you know, that was a good time to get in because as you could see, um, it's tough to say if we're going to go below 5,000. Um, a lot of people are saying that, you know, the 49 to what 5,500 range is potentially some good signs for, you know, Bitcoin hitting 6,000. Because a lot of people are now thinking Bitcoin can hit 6K in what, maybe a month. I mean, <laughs> if you guys were trading um, during that, you know, during that bull run, I mean, Jesus Christ. Bitcoin had went up, what day was that? I believe it was like a Thursday, I forget. Bitcoin went up 16% within an hour. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, holy shit, man. Like, in an hour, 16% just like that on your money. Boom. And again, during this whole crazy phenomenon, just, you know, everybody's like, oh my God, this is the bull run, this is the bull run. You know, my other investment, um, stash, uh, stash tokens. I don't know if you guys have listened to my other episode about me talking about stash, but if you haven't done your homework yet on stash, uh, I would suggest you highly just look into Bitstash. Um, the token is stash tokens, but check out their project. It's basically a crypto marketplace. Right now it's cheap, but again, if you don't get in when it's cheap. You obviously you're not gonna experience the full gains and what I mean by full gains is let's go ahead and rewind back again to last week uh my investment has shot up oh my goodness man I think it was like uh something like maybe 200 300 percent something something crazy I woke up I couldn't believe my eyes I I was such in a like a trance because it was like like damn I've always heard, you know, oh, you know, crypto could change your life overnight. Crypto can just, in a matter of minutes, days, hours, crypto can just go like, phew, boom. And that's why I felt. And sometimes I get mad at myself because, again, sometimes I don't always capitalize on, you know, taking out someone's profits, which, you know, I'm getting better at, getting better at. But, you know, it's it's always a surreal feeling when you wake up or see something like that happen because a lot of people are you know still kind of afraid to get into the space and it's like <laughs> i don't know man it's, it's it's tough not to be a part of the space i mean not only about well, obviously yeah you can make a lot of money but just the tech the technology that's behind some of this is just whoo it's, it's overwhelming you know it can i think it goes by a lot of people, it goes a lot. It goes over a lot of people's heads. I'll say that. Yeah, it goes over a lot of people's heads. You know, especially when I'm explaining to certain people, they're just kind of like, "What?" Like it's a, it's a foreign language. But again, if you're just strictly about you know making money, man, uh, it's just it's too easy almost. These gains are just. I would say they're. I would say they're unethical because. I mean, you're talking about 16% in an hour. Like, if you put that into perspective, depending on how much you're, you know, you're investing or trading with, that's a lot, man. Like, let me go ahead and pull up my handy dang calculator for you real quick. Let's see here. Let's just say, see, because me, I want to get to a point where I'm, you know, I'm playing with a lot of money because, you know, I know all big balls are playing with. Like, I want to be a whale. That's, being a whale is a nice feeling. How about that? So let's go ahead and just say, let's just say you had 100000 and you had a 16% gain within an hour. So you just make 16 racks. 16,000, like 16 racks, 16K. 16. In an hour. Uh... That's that's like where else can you do that in an hour? And this is just you know we're talking about one. This is just one coin. So you know let's go ahead, let's go ahead and say somebody was crazy enough to just say you know what, I'm gonna put a million in there. 
Yeah. 60% on that. 160000 in an hour. So imagine somebody just came and said, I'm going to put a mail, put it in Bitcoin, and then within an hour they made a hundred and sixty K again. <laughs> this is it's mind blowing. And obviously me, my portfolio is diverse. So let's go ahead and look at the Delta. And if you guys don't have the Delta app, man, you gotta download that. So obviously right now I'm down. You know, it's a little rough. Mondays, I feel like, are always rough. They're always red. Always red on Mondays. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, just got to keep working. But, you know, I'm holding some Stash. Holding some Bitcoin. Holding some Cardano. Holding some Litecoin. Some Neo, Ethereum, Ripple. Uh, BRD. Stellar. Um, yeah, the Stellar. I mean, if you haven't did the Coinbase little lessons, that's that's the easiest way to get some seller real quick. So by doing that, and then if you did the airdrop from blockchain, they gave away some seller as well. So that's another thing, man. You got to try to catch some of these projects that are just giving away tokens and you just hodl those. And then next thing you know, you got some money because uh, they're always giving out tokens, airdrops, bounties. Those are the things that, you know, if you guys are really – into the space and want to really make some money or earn some money, you know, that's kind of like one of the easiest ways to do it is just by doing those simple little tasks. And then, um, shoot, let me, uh, let me go ahead and tell you all about, uh, my crypto trip. So, um, this past Wednesday, uh, I decided to take a all paid sponsored by Bitcoin crypto trip to Puerto Rico. And uh, what I could say is uh, <laughs> there was no difference of basically going with, um, you know, like a credit card or a bank card. And that's the funny thing. I didn't even pull out those. I didn't use them. Left them at home. Strictly all crypto. In a different country. Had no problem. Because obviously, I have, a, I have a Bitcoin Visa card. When you have a Bitcoin debit card, it makes a lot of things easier. A lot of things easier. That transition, transition, I should say, of living off crypto is so much easier. And people are like, you know, you live off crypto? It's like, yeah, man. Why not? Because at least my money's working. Like, at the same time, I'm on my own bank. Like, that's a statement that very powerful to be your own bank control all your funds nobody else can touch them nobody knows how much you have I mean and that's another thing your money's always making money man it's always a good feeling just knowing that I can wake up and know that you know I've probably made some money again that's that's powerful man I don't have I don't have money sitting in the bank for what why? It's not it's not doing anything. People are like, yo, you have all your money. Yeah, dude. I have all my money in crypto. Why not? It's consistently earning. I'm constantly making some type of money. Yeah, it might right now it's not a lot, but again, over time that shit's just gonna add up, add up. Like again, so some of these platforms I've been using. Ah, man. So like Steam, it's to a point now where uh, I was looking at my Steam wallet, and you know I've I'm using different platforms that are you know built on the Steam blockchain, and I'm just trying to earn Steam and you know their Steam dollar, and it's to a point now where it's like you know I look at my Steam wallet and it's, I'm getting something daily, something daily is going to my account, so. Basically, interest, money, it's constantly coming in, slowly but surely. Now, I thought that's how banks are supposed to operate, especially if you put in your money with them. I mean, aren't you supposed to be getting something daily? 
I need something daily, man. I need daily. I need that daily money, man. I don't care if it's a penny, five cents, dollar. Yo, if it's coming in every day, it's going to build over time. And when you're using these platforms, you got to look at it at this. How many years have you been using like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all these social media platforms that you've been using, Pinterest, Tumblr, whatever the case may be? Imagine if you were getting paid on every single post, on every engagement that you were doing on that platform. Pretty sure most of y'all would probably be rich. If not, somewhere well off to a point where you can live maybe like a different lifestyle. If you're not, you know, comfortable with the one you're currently living with. So again, right now I'm looking at it. And I'm like, wow, for all the stuff I'm doing on there, it's got a dollar. Got a dollar right now from basically Steam dollars. And uh, obviously it's at a dollar right now because of the current prices. But again, as the market goes up, everything that you do with these social media platforms, that goes up with it. So again, uh that's just one platform. So, like, you know, I use Apex, which is basically the Instagram version of crypto. Um, I like to call it the Instagram killer if you guys heard me talk about it before. Again, you know, I've noticed better gains, you know, getting better engagement. But it's just tough because, like, you really got to be consistent with all these things, which it's a grind. And um, if you're willing to put in that grind, I mean, man, it it comes back and you can see the growth. And it's to a point where it's like, man, I look at some of these old social media platforms that I'm still using, but it's just kind of like, eh, I don't really care about them. Like, it's like when I post on there, it's just kind of like, eh. Posting on these, like my Pi Pi. So Pi Pi, man, again, uh, this app is like Snapchat, Instagram, all that in one. And I've been on it for you know, some time. And I'm just looking. I'm like, all right, I got 185 followers. You know, I got 30 posts on there. I've actually went viral on here. Like one of my um, posts has uh, 420 views. My other one has 160. You know, so I try to post on here daily. Try to be consistent. But, you know, I see the followers go up. Engagement goes up. Um but again, you know, I'm, I'm making money on the platform. That's that's the difference. So, like, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and sign in right now so I can explain this to you. So, you sign into the vault. And this is where, you know, all your crypto is held off this, you know, great social media platform. Because it's, I mean, you, you know, you spend all your time, again, on Instagram. And unless you have a big following, or sponsorships, you know, and all that. If you're if you're making money, all right. Like I said, you know, that's that's dope, cool. But for those that don't have it, man, I'm telling you, you gotta look into some of these platforms because that's a difference. You don't have to have a big following to start making to start making money. You can come in day one, make some. It could be what. Five cents, ten cents, it don't matter. It's, at the end of the day, it's something. But again, all right, so I just signed in. I'm um, looking at, you know, total balance of seven bucks. And as far as how much I've earned from uh, being on the platform right now, I'm looking at uh, basically like a dollar fifteen. And uh, it's like, again, it's a dollar. But I'm staking. That's the thing. So I'm staking about. Currently 777 myth, and uh, my level eight bought to be at level nine in two more days. And the reason why I stake is because that helps me, you know, earn more, earn more myth. And then obviously, as I refer friends, I earn more myth that way. Um, so if you guys do want to, you know, obviously sign up and you guys use my code, by all means, I appreciate that. Um, but again. If you come to, you know, let's go back to 
coin market cap come back to mithril so i told you i'm staking well so i'm staking 777 mithril let's go ahead and see how much that's currently worth because i think i think mithril is going to be big in the future man i think it just needs time i mean it's it's right now i would say it's uh a big asian based community but if it expands into different markets and other people get this in their hands, I'm telling you, all it's going to do is make the price go up because then more people are going to be on the platform. And just, uh, that the mental's a sleeper, man. So right now it's at five cents. It's down actually 8%. So let me, uh, let's see if I can get the chart out too. And it's, you know, a top 200 coin, but. Again, uh, it's it's young. These are young young times for Mithril. Young times. So let's uh, let's go ahead and look at the look at the last seven days right now. So if we look at the last seven days, where was the highest? So it was it was damn near six for six cents. So if I have seven hundred seventy-seven times that by six cents. So that's 46 bucks my account is basically worth currently right now $46 and that's with 185 followers not even including the fact that I'm not even consistent on the platform but for what I do compared to what you do on snapchat I mean look at snapchat I mean, again, if you ha unless you have a big following on Snapchat, are you really making money on Snapchat? But I bet you probably put a lot of time and effort into Snapchat. I can bet money on that because people are constantly on those platforms. But it's like, man, why waste your time? And that's, again, again, <laughs> that's another... Uh, platform that I can use to bring in money so those are just those are two platforms actually I just spoke about what three platforms just now because you got Apex Pi Pi uh, Steam obviously Steam I should say but you know some people I try to explain this to they don't look at it that way they look at it like uh, I'll wait till like everybody else gets on it that's that's your problem if you wait till everybody else gets on it then you're not gonna you're not going to flourish as much as you would if, you know, you're one of those early ones that are on the platform. Because, again, we're talking about, you know, only a couple thousand users. You know, some of these thousands of users, we're talking about 40, 50K. That's not a lot of people, man. Can you imagine when there's, like, just, like, a million users on some of these platforms? What happens if one of these platforms gets to a million users? The platform is booming. And you, you're one of those OGs that's been on it for a while. It's like, come on, man. All that, all those earnings that you've earned and reinvested in back into it. I mean, in the long term, it's going to pay off. I'm telling you that right now. But I'm trying to have it pay off where it's like, you know, why not have some of these platforms bring in like 50, 50 bucks a day? I'm not asking. That's not a lot. I'm bringing in 50 bucks a day from like what two or three of these platforms, especially these social media ones. Oh my gosh. Oh, for three of those? Come on, that's $150 right there. Because you know, I'm a big trader. <laughs> y'all, if y'all not using that crypto hopper, man, I'm telling you, man, y'all are sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Um, and then also too. Uh, going forward to uh, get you guys some more content and be a little bit more consistent. Uh, I'm going to also dive in and talk to you guys about some of these platforms to look out for or coins to keep your eye out for. Because, man, there's a lot of them. I'm not going to lie. It's hard to keep up with some of these because there's so many. <laughs> and... Um, always about picking the right ones but some of these ones I mean if you get in <sighs> look at these prices it's just like wow it's like it's tough not to get in 
because all it takes is, you know, a couple partnerships here, a couple influences here, and then, you know, it does blow up. But again, as more and more masses come, more and more projects come into light, but um, I'm definitely going to, you know, try to do a little bit more talking about different projects and coins, especially if you guys don't um, follow my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys do follow it, you know, you'll be more familiar with everything that I talk about, especially when it comes to these different projects, because I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of coins, a lot of different projects that can make you millionaires, billionaires easily, easily in like the next three to five years, man, because you got to realize the crypto market's still not in the trillion dollar market cap yet. We're in the billions. We're still playing the billions. Like we got a long ways to go. Long ways to go. These projects are going to continue to evolve. We, it's going to be more innovation coming. I mean, I've seen some projects. I'm just like, yo, like, bro, this is, this is insane. Like, what, like, especially for certain industries, it's like going forward in the future. Like, man, there's going to be so many different ways where you can make money. Like, I feel like. I feel like it's going to be kind of like tough. I feel like if in the digital age, if you're involved in the crypto space, I feel like it's going to be tough not to be rich off of some of these things because what they're doing and all the different incentives that come with some of these projects is whoo, scary, man. Scary times. And, um, y'all also want to shout out, you know, to my listeners, um, I've seen that. I got some listeners in France. So a shout out to the people in France that are listening to the podcast. Appreciate that. Um, I'm, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right. I think it's Robai. Hot stuff, France. Again, I got the United Kingdom. Shout out to people in the United Kingdom listening over there in London. You know, some of these spots, man, I'm going to pull up, man. I'll tell you that right now. I'm definitely going to pull up. So don't be surprised if I'm in your country, you know, I'm doing a doing a podcast. Because uh, without the listeners, man, you know, y'all the ones that, you know, make this thing go boom. And then I want to shout out who else. Let's see, let's go back. Let's go look at all the, shout out the people in India. Let's see. In New Delhi. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Shout out to y'all out there listening. Shout out to the people in United Arab and um, I'm gonna butcher that last name, my last part. Emirates. Oh, I'm tripping. Shout out to my people in Dubai. Yo, what's good? Hey, Dubai shit, Dubai whips. I'm definitely gonna come to Dubai. Yo, shout out to people in Sweden too, my Sweden folks. Shout out to y'all. I'll definitely visit Sweden. So I'm yeah. So she's France, London, India, Dubai, Sweden. I'm, I got some listeners out there. Shout out to y'all. Definitely gonna have to come and visit. Do a podcast while I'm out there. Like I said, hope y'all enjoying the podcast, man. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get y'all. I gotta get y'all more content, man. That's that's on me, man. That's on me. But um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for at least you know today's show. Um. Again, I hope you guys are doing your homework. I hope, I hope you guys are listening to this and thinking, "Man, I gotta do something, something different." Again, you don't have to put. That's another thing about crypto, which a lot of people fail to realize. You don't have to put a lot of money into it, or you don't even have to put in any money into it. You can earn. I've seen a lot of different people that are involved earn most of their money that they got on crypto. So you can go that route. You can go a different route. But if you're not in it, man, you're going to regret it in a couple of years. I don't know how many. It could be a couple of months. I mean, shit. We have another spike like we did this last week and a half. Oh, boy. People now talking about six thousand. I'm like, sheesh. Quarter two is what? Quarter two barely started. Yeah. 
has quarter one basically ended. Yeah, so we're in quarter two. Crypto Spring, man. I'm loving it. But again, like I said, that's going to wrap up today's show. appreciate y'all tuning in, wherever y'all might be listening. Um, I'm on all platforms, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, of course, Anchor. Um, also, too, for you guys that are listening, if you guys want to, you know, send in a message or got a question or something, a suggestion, you know, go ahead, send it in. Y'all can reach me on my YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is The Wolf of Crypto. Uh, you guys can reach me on Instagram. That's at the Duke with three eyes. Um, you can reach me on Twitter at the Wolf of Crypto. I mean, you know, if you guys got some messages, I'll throw them on here on the podcast, man. Y'all want, you know, some shout outs, whatever the case may be. You know, as this thing grows, gotta get more engagement with the with the people, man. Gotta be one of the people. But again, like I said, before I go. Check out Bitstash, man. Do your homework on Bitstash. You won't regret it. Um, I told a friend of mine to invest, what was it like? Whew. A couple of weeks before the price had spiked. And, man, he called me. Dude, couldn't believe it. Because, you know, it happened so quickly. But that's the thing about crypto. Things happen quickly. You gotta, <laughs> crypto's going to keep you on your toes, man. But um, until next time, y'all. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Keep grinding. The marathon continues. RIP to my nigga Nip, man. They killed my nigga Nipsey Hustle Dog. Some awesome bullshit. RIP to that guy. The marathon continues. The grind does not stop. Peace, y'all.